Welcome traders to this educational video of Nifty Analysis, episode number 33. In my last educational video, I had shared that if Nifty Spot manages to close below 11,188, then it could test 11,070 and even uh, 10,900 levels. Now, both of these levels have been achieved within last three days. Today, we got the last uh, level, second level got tested at 10,900. Now the million dollar question is are we going to are we going to go further down or we are going to see a pullback in the market now as always i will first analyze the monthly time frame in front of all of you what we can see in the monthly time frame is this particular candle the month of september if you can see properly obviously the candle is not closed because today is 24th september after six days when the month comes to an end we will exactly come to know what sort of candle is made over here but as of now what we can see it's a bearish bell told and the candle prior to it is not a classical inverted hammer or a classical shooting star but if you see properly i'll just zoom in a little bit so you people can see it properly if you see this candle it looks little bit like shooting star it has a long wick on the upside correct and you can see this small body, not very small, but yes, the body is small in comparison to this week. So it looks like a shooting star. So a close below this low of 10,850 or 10,880 also is not a very good sign. All right. And we can see the MACD squeeze coming over here. This is also not a very good sign. Now let us move on to a shorter time frame chart. In the shorter time frame chart, what we can see is the price has closed below the 50 week simple moving average after almost, uh, I should say, nine weeks. So this is also not a very good sign. This is a sign that bears are trying to pull the market on the downside and tomorrow is a weekend close. So if we have a substantial amount of price closing below this particular moving average, then it is a bearish sign but along with this bearish sign we also have a small hope and that hope is the retracement support now 10760 10750 is a 23.6 fibonacci uh, retracement support on the weekly nifty spot chart so this is a very important support because this particular swing is very long generally 23.6% Fibonacci retracements, I don't use them that much. But when a swing is very, very long, uh, at that point of time, these retracements are extremely important. So we cannot neglect it. So let us keep that in mind. And uh, let's move on to the shorter time frame, which is the daily chart. In the daily chart, what we can see is MACD has gone below the zero level. This is... Uh, addition to the already bearish scenario which was going on in the daily charts and it has also closed below this important support but if you remember in the weekly charts i had shared that 10750 is an important support due to the fibonacci retracement and currently prices have closed at 10805 today so according to me uh, an entire band of 100 points 10805 or we can say in round figure 10,000 to 10,800 to 10,700. This entire 100 points band is a decent support for the markets. Also, if you can see properly, uh, RSI is just above the 30 level. It has not tested the 30 level, but it is just above that. So, it is a clear sign market is in a downtrend. Volatility is rising. But at the same time, we are at important supports. And the market is also possibly near the oversold region. Now, if someone tells me that, what do you think about the market? Do you think there will be a bounce back or the sell-off will continue? And if I answer that, that question, it would be sort of prediction. And all of you who see my videos very regularly, you know that I'm not a guy who is into prediction because I believe predictions do not work. You have to react to the move to the market. The market will give you a move first and then you react to that particular move until and unless you do not get a signal from the price itself all right until and unless the price itself doesn't signal anything to you it is pointless analyzing or even speaking about the market 
So what would I uh, say is if at all there is a bounce back, all right, if at all, I'm not saying there will be a bounce, but in case if we have a bounce, we need to be very smart and we need to look, first of all, is the bounce just a dead cat bounce or it is a proper bottom out or what is being thrown to us in front of the screen. If it is a proper bottom out sort of scenario, the first scenario will be that the volatility will start coming down. All right. If the volatility does not come down after a bounce back and immediately within a very short uh, span of time, again, a sell off starts, possibly it will be a, a selling opportunity. That bounce back will be a selling opportunity. And in case we close below, uh, say, 10,700 levels because 750 is a support. So I'm taking 50 points just for extra protection. So 10,800 to 10,700, this entire band, once again, I repeat, is an important support. If we close below that support, then possibly we could inch slightly near towards 10,600 or might be even uh, 10,500 levels. So that is all what I would like to share with all of you to keep your eyes on the volatility. That will be the first sign possibly, which will give you an idea whether the markets are trying to bottom out or it is just a dead cat bounce. All right. I hope all these educational videos are helping you in your analysis. Try to share them with your friends uh, and let me know what do you feel about my videos in the comment box below. And I'll try to keep up all the good educational videos coming up. All right. Trade well.